Hi, this is uh, CAT 2004 November uh, hockey based uh, uh, sports question and this is one of the toughest uh, question I ever faced in CAT. Uh, in this question there are total 6 teams are competing with each other and this is only a pool A world cup of a hockey match. Right, this is only a pool A. So there are total 6 teams are there in pool A. So these uh, teams are Germany, Argentina, Spain, Pakistan, New Zealand and South Africa. And uh, this table is after each and every team has played 2 matches. So the table looks like this. So let me explain this data to you. Uh, this is a games played. So each and every team completed 2 games and wins. So Germany won 2 of its 2 matches. Argentina also won 2 of its 2 matches and Spain won only 1 match and Pakistan won only 1 match and New Zealand and South Africa uh, did not win any matches and there were no draws and losses were given 0 0 1 1 2 2 obviously uh, that is not necessary and goals for and goals against that means how many goals they uh, scored for themselves. So Germany scored only 3 goals and they have given away 1 goal but they won both the matches and similarly Argentina scored only 2 goals but they haven't given any goals they won uh, 2 matches like that how many goals they scored for themselves how many goals they scored against that means how many goals they have uh, goals they have given away uh, the data was given the total number of points. So if a team wins a match uh, they will get 3 points and if they lose they don't get anything and if uh, that is a draw they will get one point one point each so because there are no draws so all the points are six six three three zero zero so this is the data now it is given that spain lost to germany in the opening match right so before we look at that data let us understand how the draws will be made in sports like these kind of questions uh, See, there are total 6 matches, right? There are total 6 teams in that pool. So, if every team has to play against other team, total how many matches are to be played? So, we have to select 2 teams out of 6, right? So, the logic is 6C2. So, 6C2 equal to 15, right? So, if every team has to play against all other teams, then total 15 matches will be played. Now, in the first round, let us say, if Germany played against Argentina, Spain played against Pakistan, New Zealand played against South Africa. So total 3 matches are played in the first round and each and every team completed one match, right? So that means if every team has completed one match, there are total 3 matches will be played in the first round. That means in the round 1, in the round 1, 3 matches will be played and each and every team completed one match. Right. Similarly, to complete 15 matches, total how many rounds are to be played? So, 5 rounds, right? 5 rounds are to be played so that they will complete 15 matches. Then each and every team completes 5 matches, right? So, this is the logic. So, now once they completed 2 rounds, that means 2 rounds are completed. That means each and every team has completed 2 matches. So, if all the 5 rounds are completed, each and every team plays against all other teams, then 15 matches will be completed. So, this is a very very important logic for any question like this. First of all, you have to check total how many matches are to be played. So, how many rounds will be conducted. So, you just keep everything in your mind. Now, in this question, it is given that in the opening match, Spain lost to Germany, right? And after the second round, the pool table looked like this. If Spain lost to Germany, uh, now if you see, uh, Germany scored 3 goals and they have given 1 goal but they won both the matches right even they have given 1 goal away but still they won the match right in that case uh, they must have scored 2 goals in that match otherwise they won't win that match right and in the other uh, match they lost one, uh, they win 1-0 right this is the possibility or 1-0 in the first round 2-1 in the second round is also possible so first let us start probably uh, they are winning uh, their first match by 2-1. Now it is given that Spain lost against Germany in the first round. So in this case, uh, Spain must have scored 1 and 2. So that's a possibility because if they are winning 2-1 means they are losing 1 and 2. Now, uh, if you see for the Spain, Spain scored a total of 5 goals. One goal was scored in the first match. So the remaining 4 must have scored in the second round. And uh, 2 goals uh, they have given away. So, already they have given away 2, that means sum of these numbers should be equal to 2. 
therefore they must have won their second match by 4-0 because it is given that Spain won one match right so that is the case now continuing uh, this one so 4-0 where do we get 4-0 if Spain is winning 4-0 means they must have uh, won uh, some some team must have lost against them 0-4 correct we have to search for it so 0-4 possibility for how many teams so this is one possibility 0-4 correct if it is 0-4 in one match another match should be 1-0 correct sum of the goals scored equal to 1 in that case South Africa is winning one match so that is not possible now this is the case 0-4 if it is possible here another match will be 1-2 probably they must have lost their second match 1-2 so that's a possibility therefore the New Zealand and uh, Spain are playing against each other in the second round according to the assumption I have taken uh, Germany won against Spain by 2-1 in the first round. That may not be true also sometimes. And this is 1-2, uh, correct? This is 1-2. Now, you can see Argentina won their both the matches and they scored only 2 goals. That means both the matches they won by 1-0, 1-0 only. So, that's the case. And also if you look at the Pakistan, Pakistan scored only 2 goals and they have given away 1 goal and they won 1 match. Suppose assuming that they won the one match by 1-0. If they won one match by 1-0, the second match should be 1-1. One one. So that is a draw. That is not possible. So 1-0, one 1-1 one one is not possible. That means they must have won their match by 2-0. Right? 2-0. And uh, they lost the other, other match by 0-1. So this is the only possibility. Correct? So let us keep it aside. And uh, so that means this is 2-0 or 0-1. And you have to search for... 0-2 loss also, right? That is a very important. Now, if you look at this diagram, there are 1-0s, 2-1-0s are there. That means two teams must be 0-1 and 0-1, correct? So, that means the remaining two are 0-1s only. So, if it is 0-1, if this is also 0-1. In that case, if this is 0-1, the other match should be 0-2, 0-2. Now, if it is 0-2, the last uh, match should be 2-0, uh, the last match should be 0-2. So, if this is the case, uh, the sum of the goal should be 0, given away equal to 3. But it is given in the question that goal scored should be 1 and sum of the goals equal to 4. So, this is a contradiction. So, this contradiction has, arise, uh, has arisen from by taking the assumption that uh, Germany won against the Spain by 2-1. So, that's, that's a mistake, right? So, now we have to draw this diagram once again. Okay, so now Germany lost against, uh, Germany won against Spain by 1-0, right, in the first round. So, 1-0 and 2-1 in the second round. Now, Spain, obviously, what happens? 0-1, right? So, this is 1-0, 1-0. That is very much clear, right? Why 1-0, 1-0? Because Argentina won both its matches by 1-0, 1-0 only. Uh, if that is the case uh, for the Spain, 0 1 right 0 1 we have written so the second match should be 5 1 so they won the other match by 5 1 now 5 1 means 1 5 should be there so this is the only possibility right so New Zealand so 1 5 if this is 1 5 the other match should be 0 1 they lost against 0 1 right so this is the possibility uh, and we know that for the Pakistan, 2-0-0-1 are the possibilities, correct? So, 2-0-0-1 and this is the combination, right? So, 2-0-0-1 are the combination. Now, let us look at this uh, data. Uh, okay, now we have left only 2, right? 1-2 is we have to write somewhere and 0-1 we have to write somewhere. That's it, only 2 possibilities. Uh, let us take 1-2. Uh, Where we can write 1-2? Here it is 1, 2 is possible. Yeah. So, 1, 2 is possible here. Uh, 1, 2 is possible. If you write 1, 2 over there, uh, 0, 2 should be the other. So, if it is 0, 2, 2, 0. So, that's a possibility. Correct? So, if you write 1, 2 here, here you should write 2, 0. Right? 2, 0. So, just I am taking some assumption again. So, 0, 2. Uh, 1, 2. Yeah. This is 0, 2. This is 0, 2. And this should be 2, 0. 0. If 1 is 2, 0, the other should be 0, 1. Other should be 0, 1. Now, if you see the table is completed, right? So, now if we check 2, 1, so matching. So, 1, 6 matching. So, last one, 1, 4. It's also matching. So, this is the final arrangement. So, now from this, what you can understand? So, 
Pakistan must have won against uh, South Africa and uh, the other match uh, must be in between yeah these two and in the second round uh, we know that Germany played against uh, South Africa and uh, Argentina must have won against uh, Pakistan so this is the arrangement for the first two rounds right so let us look at the first two questions which one of the following statements is true about the matches played in the first two rounds so Pakistan beat South Africa by 2-0 so Pakistan beat South Africa by 2-0 that is true so we'll straight away go for answer option 1 there is no need to check the other options which one of the following statements is true about the matches played in the first two rounds uh, Germany beat New Zealand by 1-0 Germany beat New Zealand. Germany has not played against New Zealand. So that option is ruled out. Spain beat New Zealand by 4-0. 4-0 is not an option, right? Only 5-1-1-5. So that option also ruled out. Spain beat South Africa. So Spain uh, beat South Africa. That's also wrong. So Spain hasn't yet played against South Africa. So that's also ruled out. Last one. Germany beat South Africa by 2-1. So Germany beat South Africa by 2-1. That's also true one. So... For this question, answer option 4 is the correct one. Now, uh, the other data was given in the question, right? So, the other data here for the 4th and 5th rounds. So, it is given that uh, Spain won both 4th and 5th round matches and also given that uh, both Argentina and Germany also won their 4th and 5th matches and Pakistan won 4th and 5th matches by 1-0. So, see, we can see for... Uh, any round there are total three matches right there are only three matches so a team can win a maximum of two matches in a round that means out of six only three players uh, or three teams can win both their matches so not four so there is some inconsistency in the data therefore question numbers next two questions given in the data were wrong okay were wrong so don't consider the remaining two but i'll tell you how to solve the remaining two Okay, this is the arrangement after the first two rounds. We know that Germany uh, played against Spain in the first round and Argentina played against New Zealand and Pakistan played against South Africa. In the second round, Germany played against South Africa and uh, Spain played against New Zealand and Argentina played against Pakistan. So, this is the first two rounds data. In the third round, it is given that, in the data it is given, Spain played against Pakistan. That is wrong. Actually, in this question, I corrected and this is a wrong arrangement that is whatever is given in the question that is wrong so in the third round spain must have played against south africa so spain must have played against south africa and argentina played against germany that is true and new zealand played against pakistan so this is the correct arrangement right whatever is given in the question that is wrong and this is the correct arrangement okay uh, now uh, now we will see we will find the draw for the remaining two rounds, right? Based on this uh, existing data. Uh, now you see, Argentina must have played, that means or Germany, if you take Germany. So Germany must have played against some other team, right? Germany already played against Spain here. Germany already played against uh, South Africa. Germany played against Argentina. There are New Zealand and Pakistan. Two teams are remaining, right? So Germany must have played against New Zealand in one round, correct? So that is uh, one thing. Right now, how to draw, how to make the draw here? Now, the interesting thing is you focus on the New Zealand now. Okay, so New Zealand has already played against Argentina, and Spain is also over, Pakistan also over. Right now, South, South Africa and Germany are remaining. So, Germany here it is playing, so it must be South Africa. Right, this is the way you have to make a draw, and uh, this is over. Now, what about the other? Now, you can look for South Africa, right? So, South Africa has already played against Pakistan. South Africa played against Germany. So, Pakistan, Germany, Spain are already over. So, New Zealand, Pakistan are... Uh, South Africa, Pakistan is over. Germany is over. Pakistan, Germany, Spain. Pakistan, Germany, Spain are over, right? Uh, now, uh, Argentina and New Zealand both are remaining so South Africa uh, already played against New Zealand so South Africa must have played against Argentina here right now we focus on Argentina here so Argentina already played against New Zealand 
Argentina played against Pakistan, New Zealand, Pakistan, Germany are over, right? So, New Zealand, uh, New, Argentina played against New Zealand, Argentina played against Pakistan, New Zealand, Pakistan, Germany. So, Spain and South Africa are over. So, here already get played against South Africa. Here must be Spain. So, the remaining two teams, uh, Pakistan and uh, Germany plays against here. And here, uh, we have uh, Pakistan must have played against Spain. So, this is the way you have to uh, make the draw. Okay. So, according to the question, it is given that all the third round matches were result in draw. That means every team will win one uh, point only. And in the fourth and fifth round data, so Spain won both the matches. Suppose it is given that Spain won both the matches. So, Spain won both the matches. So, Pakistan lost this match here. Argentina lost this match here. Like that, you have to make a draw for the and make the points for the next two rounds. And you have to make a consolidated uh, points table like this. And you can answer the remaining questions. But sometimes, you know, right questions will be given to you. So, that you have to attempt this question like this.